also like to take a minute to once again thank everyone, especially those at home, for their diligence in adhering to the stay-at-home advisory that we put in place last week. People, for the most part, are doing the right thing, and they're not going to work, and they're not going to school. People are pushing off life events like weddings and family reunions, and hardest of all, people are missing out on important time spent with loved ones. We know we've asked a lot of people, but there is more that must be done. Everyone should continue to avoid unnecessary close contact with others, and when you go to the grocery store or the pharmacy, stay six feet away from the person nearest you. Go outside, go for a walk, go to the park, but don't do it in big groups. Don't play basketball just because you can, or sit on the beach all day with your friends. We cannot have big groups at our parks. We're considering taking some steps to deal with this, but everyone else needs to do their part too. Please continue to do what you can to avoid big groups. We know this is difficult, but these next few weeks will be critical to mitigating the spread of the disease and ensuring that our health care system is prepared for what is yet to come. As I mentioned earlier, we're also extending the guidance that we issued to executive branch employees to make sure we're keeping state government running and providing key services to those who need it, while still protecting the health and safety of our workforce and the public. All employees performing what we've called non-core functions who are able to work remotely should continue to do